everyone so uh, this time we're going to talk about custom middlewares uh, with echo so in the last uh, couple of videos we saw how to use and implement um, ready middlewares uh, that echo gives us and we saw some simple examples um, like the logger uh, and uh, basic auth and in this video we're going to see how to create our own custom made uh, middleware and this will give us in the future the power to do uh, well actually pretty much whatever we like with the requests and responses uh, that we pipeline uh, to the server um, so let's get started so first uh, this file is getting pretty messy and I will do a video about how to refactor and we will refactor this uh, in the future but for now let's just do something for the sake of readability let's do a middle verse section oops and let's create our first middleware so let's call it a server header and what with what it will do is simply um, add to any response from the server and uh, the server name so a middleware it gets a uh, echo uh, handler func and return uh, also returns the echo handler func so let's do that oops and returns also the same now handler funk is simply a, 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 a handler that we saw before it, it takes a context echo context and returns an error so let's do that let's return a handler funk which will be an anonymous function and it will take echo oops context and return an error cool now we can play whatever with the request or the response that uh, we want so in this case we're going to take the response take the header and set a new header which we're going to use echo ready uh, header names in this case is the header cell well and you can see that the echo have a bunch of those of uh, all the headers but obviously you can use uh, ma uh, manually to insert your whatever um, header name that you like and let's call it uh, a bluebot server 1.0 cool now let's return the handler function function sorry oops yeah and that's about it now let's use this uh, middleware let's use it on all of our uh, endpoints so I'm going to insert it to our main echo instance before we grouped it and before uh, everything so just use the use function uh, and insert the server header inside okay cool so that's looks that looks good uh, so now let's install it let's uh, build it sorry and let's run it let's go to a client um, it's running on localhost 8000 right let's try it so yeah look we can see that we get uh, the one rent this is the main endpoint and we get our header uh, the server uh, bluebot 1.0 and obviously you can add whatever uh, header that you like for example you can instead of the echo pre-ready headers you can do something like this and obviously this is also work let's build it oops and run it 
and we can see we have the custom whatever <laughs> header that we have and we get the content and we can see also that if we go to the admin page that's grouped uh, from uh, the main instance so let's do that uh, I forgot uh, what username and password we're checking here yeah it's jack1234 so jack1234 basic course let's add the header and now let's go to the endpoint which is um, uh, uh, um, the group is admin and it's main so let's go there uh, uh, admin oops main and again we have the both header that we oops that we uh, added so guys um i want to keep this video short just to show you how to create a custom header obviously you can do whatever you like with the response and the request uh, add, uh, you can check cookies you can check authentication and whatever 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 you can add your own logger which i prefer uh, over the echoes uh, ready logger because i want to use my own logger to the rest of the server and stuff like that and we're going to talk about those stuff in the future i just wanted to show you how simple is that to create your own uh, header for this time so thank you for watching thank you for the responses up until now and see you in the next video